Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and I'm out on another walk. And this time, I'm at the parish church of St John at Piddinghoe. Piddinghoe is close to Newhaven in East Sussex. It's just a few miles north, in fact. And I thought I'd have a look around the village, um, starting with the rather beautiful church. I know nothing about Piddinghoe, at Piddinghoe, but I've passed it once before and I thought I've got to go and have a look at it. What a stunning looking church this is. I wonder if I can walk around. I'm not quite sure how much I can actually walk around. There's no paths around the church. Maybe there's a path over here. First of all, I think it's, it's obviously pretty old from all different periods. Windows made of stone, um, flint, obviously being on the South Downs. I wonder if we can just nip over here and get a nice view of the church around here. If I cross around here, it's got a fascinating spire with what looks like a fish on the very top. We walk around here and see the north side of the church and then its circular tower, the circular bell tower, which does look rather resplendent. Behind me, we get the great ooze, or rather not the great ooze, the one up in uh, um, East Anglia. We're talking about the ooze, as in this wonderful, magnificent river that comes in at Newhaven and winds its way up northward. And here it is, just down there. Presumably there's a, a way to get down to that. This is a beautiful church. I mean, I love the way the roof sweeps right down to these tiny little windows. Look at those. And then we get this ancient round tower. Love the, uh, the lichen or lichen as they prefer to call it. The, the tiles on the roof and the shingles on the spire. It is a particularly magnificent example of a, a, an old church here down in Piddinghoe. Let's climb over for a thing. Absolutely magnificent. So I'm going to take a stroll around here. There's some lovely old flint houses as well. I hadn't had a chance really to read much about Piddinghoe, but I gather that Piddinghoe was very much the centre of smuggling probably in the 18th and 19th century. You can tell just by the fact that the ooze is here, you could come up in the dead of night and uh, smuggle your goods from uh, the little, little crafts and bring them ashore ready to be taken up into the town of Lewis. An absolute amazing array here of daffodils. Just stunning. And then these wonderful flint cottages and houses right in the heart of this very quaint English village. But I want to go down to the river I want to go down to the river, leave all this splendour and I notice there's a path here that will take us down there. So let's go and have a quick look past this footpath here which says New Haven one and a half miles and Lewis six and a half and there in front of us the magnificence of the river on a what is actually quite a windy afternoon and in its heyday of course would have been boats sailing up here tall ships no doubt and I presume there must have been some form of harbour and actually as I come up here I, I can see over there there's some pleasure boats so people are still using the river for uh, for pleasure and leisure activities but the days of the sailing boats coming in with their cargo have long gone. 
but it's quite an, a wide expanse of river here. I dare say this area that I'm walking on must flood when, when you get too much rain and, and water coming through. Ahead, a nice old flint barn here. Clearly a footpath along the river where people walk their dogs or come out for a moment's meditation. Heading southwards at the moment, back towards New Haven. It's a very lovely rural place. And in the sunshine, of course, it looks particularly wonderful, like most places. Curious old barn here. A big door. It must have had a boat, maybe a lifeboat or something. There's a launch here a launch that goes right down into the water and a little jetty that's now underwater it does say it's private property of course so not so much a barn but uh, I'd love to know more about it actually beautiful old boathouse at one time with its own history and its own story which um, I'm clearly very ignorant of but here we go look at that I was filming in the area earlier and I thought, well, I've just got to take advantage. Sometimes you see somewhere, you may not know too much about it, but you just have to take advantage. And look here, we're filming in March. And as you can see, the buds, these lovely buds are just coming, in, coming out. And what's wonderful for me, doing my tree identification, not that I can actually identify what these trees are, um, the leaves are going to be exploding onto us and it's going to look fantastic so I should just walk down to this gate then to have a final look back at the village and the sea or not that there's much of the village to be able to see clearly this walks down probably goes right down to New Haven which is superb well ladies and gentlemen I won't bother to go any further I just wanted to take a quick walk around Piddinghoe and just explore, which is what I do. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching my slightly um, naive, I suppose the word is, video. But uh, I've enjoyed it very much, seeing all the wonderful South Downs. So do tune in again and join me on one of my other walks when I go exploring. Till then, bye bye.